this part of the Czech Republic, some of it looks like New Zealand, but some of it looks like back home in Colorado. This part looks like home. So this might not be the first day of the trip, but it's the first day that I've had the complete bike and I've actually ridden it the majority of the day. Um, yesterday, completely rainy, I found a hotel for like 30 bucks, stayed there, it wasn't too bad, got some stuff done. Um, but the day before that, I had the folding bike and I was out hunting for a real bike. I started at my hostel and went completely opposite the way that I was supposed to go to get to where I was trying to go. And that's where the majority of the bike shops were. They didn't have anything secondhand. They didn't have anything that was sub $2,000, which I don't have that to spend right now. Um, so yeah, I literally rode this folding bike all the way from what the south end of Prague to the complete north end of Prague till I finally found a bike and then set that bike up and then ended up riding that like uh, maybe 15 miles camped out so yeah it's been a pretty rad day so far though I went in the morning started off all right got a little bit of a late start ended up meeting these four really cool Polish people in a parking lot then I met this other guy <laughs> Uh, I met an older Czech dude, and he was on a mountain bike as well, going pretty much the same exact way I was going. So he let me ride with him, but it was more he was just riding in front of me because he was faster. And then I got to the Huska Castle, did that tour. That's something I've been wanting to do for uh, oh, about two years now. So I'm on my way to Milovice because outside of Milovice is an abandoned Soviet village of Bazi Dar. Can't wait to see that. I think I'm about uh, 20, it's about what, 18 miles away from Milovice. Let's see how quickly we can get there, but yeah, so far it's been a fucking rad day. <laughs> oh yeah, and I almost got hit by a bus. all these perfect tent pads it's just sitting here right as it's getting dark that's what's up so it's the morning of the second day the place i camped out last night was wonderful completely hidden off from the road nobody could see it perfectly flat concrete slab for ground pad and tent perfect couldn't ask for better this morning's all right a little slow start it's like 8 30 ish I'm trying to leave a little earlier but slept really good I say so yeah after I finish my breakfast of champions <laughs> I'll be headed up to Milovice once I get to Milovice uh, depending on what time it is I'll either get a room so I can go explore Bossy Dar without all my all my gear or uh, yeah I'll just visit Bossy Dar and keep going we'll see how it goes when I get there but yeah good start All right, so it's the morning of what, day four. <clears throat> Last night was pretty good. We stayed in a lovely hotel in a really cool building in Kona Tahora. Um, probably just gonna catch a train to Brno today, save a little bit of time. Um, Kona Tahora is a decent sized hub. Catch it down to Brno. That'll, uh, yeah, I can at least bring my bike on that train. So that'll be a plus. And then from Brno, Gonna ride over to Cachetise. It's about 100 miles. Uh, might stay in Brno tonight, not sure, but we'll see. Yesterday, didn't really do a whole lot of filming. Uh, just kind of one of those off days. Everything that could go kind of wrong sort of did. But last night, I ended up just staying in a hostel in uh, Brno, Czech Republic. And I spent the whole night repacking my bags and all that, make sure everything was set up just right but then I found a bike shop with some cheap saddlebags I know they're not called saddlebags on a bike they're pannier whatever 
I refuse to use that French word. Saddlebags to me. <laughs> so I just got some saddlebags. Let's go and reset up everything. All the packing I did last night. Pretty much for nothing, but whatever. Good times today. Today's feeling a lot better. So hopefully we'll get close to the border of Czech Republic and Slovakia today. And yeah, crush some miles. Hopefully find some abandoned buildings along the way. Alright guys, it's the morning of day five, day six, something. I don't know. I'll figure it out when I go through all these videos. Slept in a lovely wine vineyard last night. Saw a man sitting on a chair overlooking the field earlier last evening. And I just stopped through and asked if I could set my tent up and he said, yeah. Not a bad little spot. So today I'm gonna get to the border of Slovakia in the Czech Republic. Um, gonna go to a little lake that I slept at last year. Hopefully nothing much has changed and I can sleep there again. It's about, it's only 20 miles, not too bad, but this is a really hilly area and it's supposed to start raining at about noon or one. So might not get as far as I like, I don't really want to ride in the rain. Not everything has been waterproofed in my gear just yet. So yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, what's up guys? It's August 31st. Uh, I lost track of the days. Uh, I'll figure that out once I sort out all these videos. But yeah, really close to the border of Slovakia. Really close to the border of Slovakia should be there about less than an hour I'd imagine so just drinking my morning coffee eating the breakfast of champions but yeah it's hopefully I'll be able to get to Bratislava today that's what I'm shooting for it's supposed to be really rainy for the next uh, three or four days and I would rather not deal with that but if I have to I have to see what it is so yeah, I'll uh, shoot a little video once I get to the border, and we'll go from there. So we're finally here. We got Czech Republic on that side. Try not to get hit by this van. And Slovakia on this side. The river is the border. Making our way through pretty well. You could get lured into a gingerbread house out here. Alright guys, what's up? It is September 1st. I made it to Bratislava yesterday. About 60 mile ride. Um, for non-imperial measurements, like 80 kilometers, something like that. And I'm really glad that it's raining right now because I wouldn't have been able to justify staying in a hostel otherwise. Good day to be inside and not out riding. Tacos in Hungary. Let's see if they compare. Not quite Colorado great, but they're pretty good. <laughs> 